I've never heard of the heart of the forest. Nobody knows what it is. I can guess. Okay, just give me one hint. I literally don't know. Ooh, that is a good hint. The heart of the forest. A mysterious and magical place hidden deep in the creek. It was discovered by a boy named Kenneth who made a great sacrifice and in return was made king. Just like that, he went from lonely to thronely. Before he left the creek, Kenneth drew a map to the heart of the forest on a puzzle cube and scattered the pieces far and wide. 26 pieces in total. The puzzle cube apparently unlocks some super secret treasure called the heart of the forest. If we want to know more about the heart of the forest, we need to talk to Xavier's older brother, Kenneth. The elders of the creek. They knew Kenneth when they were kids. I bet they know where we can find him. Kenneth? I haven't heard that name in years. We were the best of friends until they built that highway through the creek. In a folly of youth, we forgot to exchange information. Now all that's left of Kenneth is his memory. And his complete box set of the Haru anime DVDs. Actually, I have his number. Yo, Mark. Man, it's been a while. Where is your necklace? N necklace? You know, our four-way friendship necklace. The one that we made together. We still got ours. Yeah. I, uh, I don't have it anymore. You don't have it? Be gone and take this box set with you. Didn't they belong to Kenneth? Never speak that name to me again. Guess we'll never be able to talk to Kenneth. <sighs> well, anyone want to watch some anime? Is this how our search for the heart of the forest ends? With an anime DVD box set? Shepherd of spirits, overseer of life, hear my plea. What is it that you request, my child? My village, my friends. They've fallen victim to a terrible curse. Is it possible that you could lift it and return my friends to me? <laughs> Anything is possible with my magic. But for me to share my power with you, it would require a great sacrifice. A sacrifice? Yes. In exchange, my magic for whatever it is you value most in the world. Would you still want to lift the curse? Yes. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Heart of the Forest. <gasps> Guys, wake up! The Heart of the Forest! It's from Kenneth's favorite show! It's a giant puddle? It's a giant magic puddle! With giant magic puddle powers! Could something like that really be in the creek? I mean, Haru is a cartoon. This is real life we're talking about here. I don't know. Scattering 26 puzzle pieces across the creek seems like a lot of work for something that isn't real. I wonder what a kid could do with that kind of power. I guess we'll find out after we collect the rest of these cubes. The heart of the forest said it would require a great sacrifice. I have nothing left to give. Except the last memory of my friends. Please, heart of the forest, bring back my friends. Whoa, the heart of the forest is like a magic wishing well. And according to this map, it's somewhere on the other side of the creek. Show me about the heart of the forest! Whoa, I never thought I'd see those again. And you got 12 pieces already? You're good, kid. Uh, do you know where I can find the rest? <laughs> nah, I gave them to my old pals years ago. They could be anywhere in the creek by now. So, so is it real? The heart of the forest? What do you mean? Is it really like what's in the show you used to watch? Haru. Is the heart of the forest a being with magical powers? <laughs> Why do you think I hid it so well? Do you think the heart of the forest has the power to keep you from losing your friends? I think I know what you're going through. I'll tell you this much. A long time ago, I was a kid with no friends. But once I found the heart of the forest, I became the king of the creek. 
So it is real. It's not that easy, though. You got to give it something in return. What did you give it? Something that meant a lot to me. As the heart of the forest, my heart's desire is to fulfill your own. I am bound to honor the choices of those who have made a sacrifice for my power, whether they be for good or for evil. 